All right, we are here on the Northrop Grumman Foundation field. 818 teams competed, and we are down to the top four. That's the top 0.5%. That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> These teams are hoping to take home a banner, not only for themselves, but also because tomorrow is Mother's Day, and nothing says I love you like a shiny trophy, right? All right, our teams are putting in those final touches, lining up those robots. If anybody was gonna push it to three matches, it's this team right here on the Red Alliance. Up first, we have 3814B, that's Pybotics out of Ignite Institute, Erlanger, Kentucky. Their alliance partners are 254F, the Cheesy Poofs out of Bellarmine College Preparatory. They were our Excellence Award winners in 2011, looking to take home another title. Over on the Blue Alliance, we have our Design Award winners. That's 9257C, House Cats out of Covington Catholic High School in Park Hills, Kentucky. Their Alliance partners are 4154X, that's University School Sharks Robotics out of NSU University School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You know what's amazing? Out of those 818 teams, we have two teams from Kentucky. They are probably looking to stack those teams so that they can bring the Vex World's hosting back to Kentucky. All right, let's go ahead and get things rocking and rolling. Do you want to help me count it down again? Because this is the match that's going to decide it all. Help me count it down from three. Three, two, one, go! Nicely done. We are off to the races here on the Northrop Grumman Foundation field. This is the match that will decide it all. The Blue Alliance manages to grab one of the neutral mobile goals and the Red Alliance manages to grab the other. That's gonna go to the Blue Alliance. Moving on to driver controlled in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a battle, a battle, battle, battle. All of these matches, we had one, we had two. Now we're off in the third match. These teams have faced each other so many times and their strategies just keep Switching with one minute, 28 seconds left on the clock. We have both blue robots managing to steal one of the Red Alliance mobile goals. They move that over to the center of the field and play a game of keep away with the Cheesy Poofs. However, the Cheesy Poofs are too quick. They went, go over to the blue side of the field and manage to steal back their red mobile goal as well as the center neutral mobile goal. Oh, that is interesting. Over in the corner of the Red Alliance side of the field, we have our Pi Bonix, that's 38141B, managing to keep the blue mobile goal from the clutches of 4154X, the Blue Alliance robot. That is amazing. Over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, we have 9257C, that's Covington with control of one neutral mobile goal with 30 seconds left on the clock they push down that blue platform they start their ascent let's see if they can get all the way up the platform 19 seconds left in this match red alliance starts the climb that's Pi Botics climbing up onto that red platform their alliance partners the cheesy poofs right behind them blue following suit trying to balance out that blue platform the red alliance sitting with three mobile goals elevated two red robots elevated the blue alliance runs out of time wow that is just amazing to you. Well, I mean, I don't know much more to say about that than what you all saw. I'm here with my friend, CEO of the REC Foundation, Mr. Dan Mance. Dan, there's no memes in that match, man. That was just pure robot skill. 
It's amazing what we've seen this year from those early matches in September, October, where just people were grabbing goals, no rings. It progressed the state championships. You started seeing higher and higher scores. And honestly, Grant, the most exciting matches we've seen all year were the division finals and here in the Dome. I, I have never seen anything quite like this. Yeah, it's a huge testament to these teams' abilities. So, Dan, I mean, obviously this is the first year we've been back here in Dallas uh, in a long, long time. I mean, I had a good time this weekend. What are you thinking? How well, let's ask the audience. Did you guys in Dallas have a good time? <laughs> A couple, a couple people did, one or two of them. <laughs> yeah, we were so excited. Tony Norman, Bob Mimlich, they were so excited to say, hey, let's see if we can get back to Dallas, Texas. We were here 14 years ago. Um, Vex Robotics is uh, based about 45 miles from here. The REC Foundation, the same. So thank you for coming back to our home state and our hometown. And, and Dan, I got a question for you. Is there any other like notes that you think might excite them more about being here in Dallas? I think so, besides having a water game. I'm gonna leave, just like that, Tony. <laughs> hey, one thing I do wanna give a shout out to, Grant, is how many of you guys are seniors here? How many of you high school students are seniors? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, one of the things that the REC Foundation we wanna do is congratulate you seniors. We've actually had college university students here that gave up going to college graduation. Omar, thanks for being here when you should be graduating. And also, for you teams, we promised you if you would stay for the finals, we would give you a gift at the end. So high school teams, when this is all over, come down to the field. We've got one of the field elements for you. Meet us way over there. We can't have you touching the field, so way over there. All right, so before, in order for them to do that, Tyler, do we have our world champions? The scores are in, Grant, and that's 224 to 95. The Red Alliance and the Art Division. Let's bring up Dan Mann, CEO and Chairman of the Board of the Robotics Education and Competition Foundation to announce your world champions. Once again, congratulations to our winning alliance. Please come up on the stage for win your, to get your banners and your trophies. What a wild ride from last year's first event in New Zealand to crowning our world champions today. We'll be bringing all of our winners and world champions to the stage to take some photos in just a moment. When we do, parents and coaches, please stay behind the referees until our photographers have finished. But before we get to that,